Thanks for staying with us. We've been getting numerous messages from different people saying, why are you guys dressed like you're going for OMB? Well, again, <laughs> it's our cultural day at TVC. It's a day we celebrate ethnicity. Everybody comes in different cultural attire. If you follow TVC uh, on Instagram, on YouTube, and all the various pages, at some point we're going to go live and you see all the cultural display of different attires just to celebrate cultures. And I think it's, a, it's an interesting time to that. We do this every year. We've been doing it for about three or four years now. And it's quite consistent every year. And this year is especially special because um, there's a lot of division in our country. Mm. There's a lot of, there's so many factors where politicians are using to divide us. And we need these days like this to remind us that we're still one people. What are your thoughts on this cultural diversity and how, why is it important to you? So um, Nigeria has a very rich culture, probably because we have the numbers. We have, we have the ethnic groups in going to close to 400 and something. And every ethnic group has its origins in deep-rooted culture, the f type of food they eat, the way they dress and traditionally. And these are cultures that I feel if we organize ourselves as Nigerians, we can milk the mm, world. Absolutely. I travel and I go to countries and I see their culture and everybody's like, wow, woo, woo. And I'm like, well, <laughs> just a few tribes in my place will, will beat these people hands down. But instead of you know, harnessing that um, diversity as a strength, that we can milk the world with. We are busy because of political interests trying to destabilize what we have. Nigeria is a very beautiful place. I go to some places and I'm like, a place in the north can cover this place <laughs> that I'm seeing. I, like, I'm so proud of my country because I know at least I can say that I've been to about 15 to 20 states in Nigeria. My, I know my country to the best of my ability. Mm. And I'm still going to more places. And I know that we are so ingenious. We are, and we, we wear our country proudly. Nigerians are the only ones you see outside the country that we wear Ankara, <laughs> wear something. If you see a Ghanaian, you see a South African, you see they're all on English things, they don't even <laughs> understand. But you can spot a Nigerian by how they are flamboyantly dressed <laughs> in their own local attire. So it's a thing of pride that, you know, TVC well, it takes is us, we, celebrating every year, just trying to remind us that uh, we can beat, we can have that differences, but still find a way to be together Why and enjoy ourselves. Travel out. That's when we come prove patriotic. When we're inside Nigeria, we know Sendo. I've always but been But the patriotic. moment, and that's, I'm talking about that's you. That's me, talking yeah. Nigerians. Mm, I've always talking been patriotic. When, when we are here, we don't send anything. Don't but the, the moment beauty. you step outside, suddenly you're looking for your people. Yeah. Suddenly when you hear Emeka, you're like, hey, Emeka, nice to meet <laughs> that's you. That's what you appreciate what you, know? you have. <laughs> you think it's yourself. And you're like, yeah, you see Emeka, oh, I bet, pack your face. Yeah, that's you, John, go and sit down somewhere. You, you, the, the, the lapo, go and sit down somewhere. But, you know, it's so, why is it when we step out, begin to appreciate our culture, mm. our language, our food? You yeah. see your food outside, and you're thinking, eh, eh, I'm Amala. Eh? And I think it's just like, what's wrong with these people? So, Nima, your thoughts on, Ethnicity, you do, and, and if we should, how, why would you like to celebrate today as a cultural yeah. day in TVC? Okay, I would particularly appreciate it. Born in Lagos, and I remember growing up, my uncles would come and be like, you know, they have to go home. My parents would be, you know, it's not safe, it's not time yet. And I kept thinking that I would never know anything about my roots. But my mom, God bless her, took time mm. to make it a language at home, effort. I remember all her beads. She's a princess of my kingdom. Her, from the royal family, and at the time when she married, her grandfather was still king. She had all the beads, all her things that she married with, and I took them to school and lost everything. Ooh. All the cultural day, they would dress me up, I would come back with one ear. I didn't know the value of it. So, but when I grew, I, I think I was around 20 something, I, I found a book of Proverbs in my language that improved my command of my language a lot. It was written by the Waziri of Auchi. The former, uh, the professor, I think he's late now, of um, Islamic studies in Ilori. And that book helped me greatly. He helped me improve. I understand all the several dialects of the Afemai language. And so for someone who had to study her own culture a second time, I understand, I particularly appreciate a thing like this. You know, we are different. We are not the same. Where I was born, the friends I grew up with were Christians, Akwaibom, um, um, from Ogoja, different people. And so I would understand my childhood friend Kufre, 
when we were four or five, we, it was from um, uh, uh, Akwai Bomb. We learned different things. But when you grew up and uh, got to university, it just seemed like it was because in Yoruba setting, when you speak a different language, my, course, my friends then were just like, hello, so they make it, and it was annoying. Mm. So what CBC is doing here is very important so that we know that we have different people. And you know, you go to some establishment, you see only one tribe, yeah. sadly. Yeah. In some states, even mm. in their civil service, you can hardly find it's another on tribe. Mm. And there's a general language spoken. <laughs> so there's a language of the locality, which is normal. I can speak Yoruba well, but let us appreciate the differences mm. that we have. And so when a, 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 an institution like TVC or a corporate entity like TVC decides to do this annually, this is not the first time, mm -hmm. it's been done consistently annually for yeah. a long time to foster that unity, yeah. to remind us that there are different identities and they're all unique. Absolutely. That, you know, and nobody's apologetic. Yeah. There's That's, no minority yeah. here. When you, on that day, last year, um, so who won, uh, I think MM, had uh, last two years, she had the ethnic look and she, she trashed she everybody. It. <laughs> it was different, there was no minority, it was the beauty of that, mm -hmm. that, that culture that was seen and everything. And I think that is very important and it's something people should emulate everywhere. So where would you like today to signify, especially for Nigerians at this time? Um, so I've always felt like we are, we are so one. My children are half, they are quarter, Ijebu, Kota Ikiti, half Isha. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. And I feel like when, when I hear people say, oh, Nigeria, we should just, everybody should stay in their own, we mm. should separate, we should. I'm like, so where are we going to go? Because this was, we we'll say they are in the southern parts, and me, I'm southwest, and all of that. Um, there is beauty in our division. There's a, not division, there's a beauty in our differences. Mm -hmm. And when we, it's easy to see that difference and feel like this is not me. This is not my way. This is not the way we do things here. How about we look at it and say, interesting. Why are they doing it like that? Mm -hmm. What can I learn from what they are doing? How can I benefit from this experience they are um, displaying as their own norm? It would help us. My, my husband is totally different from me in terms of running a business or how it, it takes his time. I want to fly. So when I talk to him and he'll be like, let's think about it. Before it was a fight, but I just, now I tell him when he says, have you started again? I'm like, Mark, this is my way. And it's an advantage to this marriage that I jump. And it's an advantage to the marriage that you are slow mm, because the two of us together can then build a formidable force. That is the way Nigeria is. The North has a strength, the South has a strength, the East has a strength. Everybody, the middle belt, the sixth geopolitical zone, we are all so different. And it is such a beautiful thing if we no longer see it as them doing their thing. But we are all now bringing those strengths together and leveraging it for the growth of our country. It will be so beautiful. We should not allow politicians to find these times for us. I think, mm. I think Nigerians must understand that, listen, this is who we are. I, I mean, I, I proudly say my father and my mother are from Lagos. My mother is from Isarego, Dosumu, Dosumu <laughs> family. My father is from Lagos, but was doing his death, I realized that his ancestors, actually, because he's, he's, uh, I think his four forefathers came from father, his, his four forefathers on the father's side came from Meiduguri. Wow. I found that the Aka, Aka is a Meiduguri, I didn't even know. Wow. Like Aka the, the, the descended from Meiduguri. His so mother. Have Hausa roots. Yeah, his mother is from Brazil. This great, 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 great Brazil. Wow. They, when they came into Lagos, Lagos, they came to Lagos. So they met there, um, four forefathers, but they came for the 1800s. So I think in the, in the Lagos state, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. once your family is here for the 1800s. Does that justify you are, your nose? Because I'm looking at your nose <laughs> different now. Right? Right? that matter. <laughs> so, so, but the thing is that we are all somehow connected. Mm, all connected. And this, like this, they time for us to reflect reflect as a people because political system is coming. Mm. Mm. Let yet. these elections, I, I was, I erroneously, now I'd like to admit that I erroneously said it sometime last week or something that, that it seems like this election is going to be based on ethnicity at the end of the day because everybody's going to go according to, but the truth is that it shouldn't be. Mm. Let, 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 I take that back. It shouldn't be. It should be based on competence. Let us see what can you do? Mm. What have you done? What are you able to do? How are you, you able to evolve? To are you able to get everybody together? We don't want an ethnic race. We want a Nigerian so race. So, so we want Nigerians to know so that I'm coming now. Let me learn. I want Nigerians to understand that we are Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And as we move forward as a people, we must move forward as one, as a people, mm -hmm. not dividing each other. Yes, Nima, go ahead. Somebody had referred to something earlier when she was when we were on the other topic that, you know, 
when is your when is your tribesman in office? You start to say it's our turn. Our mm -hmm. turn. This our turn thing should just be expunged. Exactly. Because some tribes we have you, we have how many over two hundred and something languages in a do alone. Mm -hmm. In a do alone, no I cannot understand what they say mm -hmm. when you cross over to Bini and Noah. I can only understand when I feel my people. If you get to open, like, I can't even understand what you're saying. Mm. So we have so many languages, so many, many tribes. So, many. Yeah. so it can be, where will it be some people's tongue? Honestly, some people be. may never so get it So let's done. get this nonsense of tongues out of our head. Mm. And when we have a Nigerian, that Nigerian should drop mm. every title, any tribe and ethnic, ethnic group and I represent everybody. everybody. May I quickly say that the government has a role to play in not feeling that distrust the that the people have. You must not be seen to be partial to one part mm. of the country. That is where it comes from. Mm. If you are seen as neutral, everybody gets a chance. Everybody who you think can do the work, who is competent, gets a chance. And you're not seen to, when it comes to this sort of people, you bend the rules. That is how Nigerians can become mm. and agree that they are one. If we still see that some people are, you know, treated with kids' glove and other people are treated differently, even if we speak English and wear traditional outfits every day, nobody will believe you. When you are done, you okay. go back home. We have to wrap up. So I would just like to take this last moment to appreciate the management of TVC for this wonderful um, initiative of Culture Day. As I said, before the most political, people start saying, ah, it's because of political season. No, it's not. This is the fourth year. I think yeah, we do it third year. We do it every single year. So it just so happens that this is, the, this, is the, this is the season that we are in. But I must celebrate the management of TVC for this fantastic initiative. It's great to bring Nigerians together, celebrate their culture. I'm pretty excited to taste all types of food. Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> I'm already hearing the music outside, eating all sorts of things. So wait around for the live show so you can see uh, the taste of what, uh, what, what we're going to be experiencing today. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye for now. Bye-bye.